So this <laughs> this last game, most snaps you've ever played, largest percentage of snaps you've ever played. Uh, pretty good performance, right? Sack, pass breakup, fourth down. Uh, what, what's going right for you right now? Um, I think just really, I, I think like earlier in camp, just um, Brad and Coach uh, Campbell and those guys just, I mean, just hammering on me, just like going hard and everything I do. And I think from then, it's just really me just taking it from practice and taking it to games. It's been paying off. So I just credit the coach putting me in those positions to make those plays and trusting me that I'm going to make them. So I'm um, still some work to do and clean up some stuff where I could finish a little better and stuff like that. But um, I think just the coach really just put me in the best position to succeed. And just the defense in general, I think just ha have guys who make plays and I think everybody's taking advantage of it. So we don't, I guess, see that a lot. Brad didn't draft you, obviously, and he inherited you. But what, what, is, what does he say to you, you know, before the season that, that he wants to see out of you? Yeah, I think, um, especially me being a young guy, um, I think I know I'm pretty aware of things I need to do to get better and be where I need to be. So I think that's definitely something I need to do. I, needed, I knew an area where I needed to do a lot better, um, just taking practice reps, like game, re game reps. Um, you come out here every day and you just got to get better. We talk about 1% better at everything. So I think just coming out here with a purpose every day and knowing what you need to work on and doing it with an intent, I think that's just the most, most important thing for me. And then it translates to the game, because once you do it out here, the stuff you do out here shows up in the game. So I think it's just been paying dividends to just go hard and everything I do, and it's, and it's been paying off. So. Uh, your, your defensive player said he, he's really conscientious about not overloading. He wants to you know, kind of slowly build up, doesn't want you overthinking. Um, have you noticed that? I mean, do you ever feel like that, that not taking it easy on you, but you know, not trying to overwhelm you. And, and how is that? Maybe? Oh no, no, no! They definitely have a lot of stuff on my plate, especially just the outside linebackers and just football in general. Um, I think it's a very detailed game that you got to be on your stuff. Um, just every play, there's no they really get beat in the plays where you take off those little things where you just kind of like, all right, I'll be good. But no, that's the, those are the plays where you really get hurt on. So I think just going hard and um, I mean, we got a lot on our plate, and we're, we're all NFL, so um, we're paid to do this job. So it's just a matter of doing it and being able to retain the information. And we come out here to practice, practice it every day. So if you come out here and studying your plays every night, watching film, go out to Sunday, and it's just second nature. You just go out there and do it full speed. So. Uh, I feel I feel all right. I mean, I feel I could do a lot better. Um, I mean, the stats or whatever, but I, I, I'm really just more. I, I want to win games and just get this defense to where it needs to be. So. I'm not really worried about that. I know all the sacks, yeah. Got my first one, second one, whatever. But um, it's, when, if we're not winning games, all that stuff doesn't mean anything. So. Where do you think your game has come the furthest from the um, I, I would probably say the run. Um, I, I'd probably say a credit Coach Shep and Coach Wash and just defense in, in general pushing me to be better in that, that area of my game. Um, I mean, I came out of college, whatever, pass rusher, if you want to call it. But um, I think just that run. Option, that run part is stopping the run. I think that's gotten a lot better um, over the past year or two, whatever you want to call it. So um, I think just really, like I said, just coming out here and practicing very detailed and everything to do, going hard. So it's just been paying off and translating to the games. We know that Don, you have your brother, obviously. He's, he's out with you. I'm wondering how much more, I guess, he's vested in, in your success right now and um, you know, how much time are you spending with him on you know, honing your craft, film study that way? Oh, uh, we actually don't really do that much, I guess. Uh, I, I mean, obviously he's like, have even seen me getting more plays and stuff like that. But we really don't like, it's it's football, and I mean we're all we've all I mean we're professional football players. We've been here, college football, NFL. It's all the same. You just got to take coach and listen to coaches, and obviously that takes tip, tips from him and knowing what I need to do better. But at the end of the day, we we really just chill and watch a movie or something like that. So it, it's never really anything like crazy, but. Um, and we, we I mean, kind of try to stay away from football, talking too much football when you're kind of out of the building, stuff like that, just because you got to get away from it, get your head, get your head away. From, I mean, we're here for 10 hours, whatever it is during the day. So I think just being able to get, get away from it and take a mental break for a little bit. But I mean, it's still t football, whatever. We watch football games and just like recognize what other teams are doing, even just on the when we're watching like Thursday night football, we'll watch like seeing what moves guys are doing and just what we can do better at our arsenal and stuff like that. So we, we definitely talk ball a little bit, but it's never anything like too serious, I guess. So, really, just stuff you can get better, and just stuff we see around the league. So, how's he doing, just in general? He's doing great. I mean, he still moves around for somebody who tore their Achilles. So, yeah, you can't really stop him, hold him from going anywhere. But he's he's in good spirits. He's doing good. So, definitely good.